Okay, I'm going to talk to my phone, okay? Okay. Okay, good night. Okay, so I did a DNA test for Freya a long time ago. I just have not gotten around to doing a video about it. So I'm just going to show you quick stuff. Go to Embark and sign in. And there she is. That COI, she's 30% related to herself, is my understanding. I'm sure there's like a better way of explaining it. To view her summary and results of her test, she's 100% German Shepherd. That's great to know, even though we thought we already knew that. They tested a bunch of different genetic conditions and health conditions and found nothing. Found no variants of any of that. For example, I believe DM is somewhere in the list. Also dwarfism and the results are all the same for everything. Variant not detected. It has me think of two things. How common are genetic conditions and how often are they found? Or did I even do the test right? I'm pretty sure I did. You stick the swab in their mouth around their gums to get as much saliva as you can. And then you send it in and it takes like two to three weeks for it to process. I mean, the list goes on, which is great because I didn't know there were so many things that could happen. To dogs, sorry if that hurts your guys' eyes. I want to find the DM, like, specific. I don't think it's on this list. It, it, seemed, like, it seemed like it was on a shorter list. And I can't remember which one was the dwarfism, but I do remember like researching that because I was interested in a stud if everything turns out great for her, you know. There was a stud that had dwarfism in him and so we wanted to make sure she didn't have dwarfism in her genes and she doesn't. Obviously, we won't be breeding her for a very long time. Ah, look, there it is. Right there. DM so, I think besides letting her grow, then to do the x-rays for her. Another thing that was pretty cool, go to view profile. She right now is 14 years old. In human years, I guess. 14 human years. She's 8 months old in real life. This just explains how that works. And that's a really nice chart to know. So it's recommended not to breed German Shepherds until they're about two years old. Of course, that just depends on when her heat hits or whatever. And if we have a stud lined up. And how life is. You know, like, if it's not a good time in my life to get her first litter, then we won't. So that's a few things to look forward to and to get ready for. I... I want to show the test I did because there are a ton of options. I don't even know if I'm going to the right place. Nope, I wasn't. Okay, so we'll just go back here. Oh, forget it. That did not work. Hold on. Okay, so pretend we're shopping. So as you can see, they have promotion codes, but there was one that I used. I think it's called Try Embark 99 and the test that I did was this one. So, that's the one I did. Um, oh, see, there it is, the Tri Embark 99. Otherwise, you're paying a lot more than that. There are other test kits if you're not breeding. We wanted to test her for breeding just because we have breeding rights. So, just because we have breeding rights, though, didn't mean she was good enough to breed. So far, though, she seems pretty good. Oh, matchmaker. So this one, it doesn't work so well on the phone. It will show a bunch of studs, and you can see some of their test results. Oh, wow. There it is. Okay, there we go. See, it just takes forever to load on the phone. And this, what I want to show you, this expected litter COI, like I said, my understanding is how related the puppies are to each other, so like the inbreeding, I can't remember what the COI stands for. Freya is 30% because of her parents, 
And so, see how 34 is red? Probably want to avoid that. We don't want that number getting any higher. And so this just gives you a couple of options here. Another good way to find a stud is to just contact a local stud or look online, you know, at different breeders. But pretend we're looking at this one. There it is. Okay, look how pretty that puppy is. Just kidding, he's not a puppy. Oh, he's old. So that's another thing, too, that I was looking at. Um, the ages of the studs, especially... Not how old they are now, but how old they will be when Freya's old enough. And so I don't want to get stuck with an old stud. But what I'm showing you is it shows Freya's results and it shows Banjo's. And you can see they've already got off to a really good start. Let's see what would happen if we did this guy. I thought he was good looking. Here we go. Ooh, he looks scary. Like in a really awesome way. Oh, but look how old he is. Okay, so, yeah. If I find a stud that's old, but I really like how he looks, if possible, then I look for any puppies from them to see if they have any good studs. And here's this with the traits. I'm still learning what this is. I feel like I learn about it, and then I forget about it, and then I learn about it. I think as she gets older, I will pay more attention on remembering what all of these are. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> this one's cool. You can see the full check GSD, maskless sable. I think most Czech German Shepherds are sable. So his name's Balto. That's cool. Mommy? Hi, buddy. I'm gonna go to Freya. Hmm. Is that a pretty dog? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm in the Freya. Mommy, so. it's Freya. Oh, I like when they have the website. It's Freya. Because, like I said, if the stud is going to be too old by the time she's old enough, <coughs> then I want to see what other options they offer. But, yeah, and look, oh, one, one variant. Um, doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just nice to see that there's nothing, you know, doesn't... I don't think that necessarily means all the puppies will be clear of anything. It's just like any other health issue. I'm pretty sure. I wanted to show her parents. Before I find Freya's parents, I was so lame about just thinking a German Shepherd was a German Shepherd. And I started learning a lot about them. She is definitely a Czech working line. Besides the fact that I was told that by the breeder. When I look at these dogs and their silhouettes, the check working looks like Freya. And so it makes me look into what studs I might want to breed her with. I don't want to do show line. I, I really do not prefer that. And even the West German show, it's still show and it just doesn't seem like what I'm looking for. I want a dog that is built to work. I'm looking at these kinds of studs. I think a check stud would be really good because then it keeps the check line going. So I found two potential studs. One is in the area of, or like, as in, in the same state that I am in, and one is clear across the country. But they both seem like really good options, if either of them are still available, if we decide to breed her, you know, so. Anyways, so let me find her parents. Okay, so this is Freya's mom. She is a Czech German Shepherd. She was born here, but her grandma was imported from the Czech Republic area. And this is Freya's dad. He was imported. And I, of course, did a lot of research about that. It doesn't mean I know everything. Comparing the imported lines to the American lines for police work and different protection work. They all just kind of point at imported lines being better. So that's a plus for Freya. So this is a sable. This this just shows different sables. I think it would be cool to get some different colors. Like this is silver sable. This is silver with some tan liver right there. Anyways, I'm being super picky about the stud because one, I want rare colors. Two, I want a healthy 
litter, you know. And I don't plan on getting a whole bunch of litters out of Brea. And so I want to make every single one count. I have no experience with shepherds. I've had an Australian cattle dog or a red healer, whatever. I guess there's a bit of a difference there. But that was like 15 years ago. This is and has definitely been an adventure so far.